Now, listen, I don't want you to be grossed out about this, but I want you to hear the intensity. And when I tell you it was in the intensity, y'all, I thought my anus was going to come up through my esophagus and out of my mouth. What's up guys? I just want to welcome you guys back to another episode and I hope that all is well with you. I'm going to take this opportunity to first thank everyone who are taking the time out to listen and tune into this video. Today, we're going to talk about detoxing. And I'm going to share with you an experience that I just recently had two days ago. Today makes day three. I'm um, two days post the actual experience. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the duck flower, but the duck flower is becoming well known amongst mainstream herbalists and spiritualists. And a lot of people are choosing to do the duck flower detox because it is ex an extreme detox. I mean, it is extreme. The lights are going on and off. I don't know. <laughs> so first of all, you're probably wondering, what is the duck flower? So the duck flower is actually a flower that's grown in like Jamaica, the Caribbean. Um, it is actually shaped like a duck. And I'll show you a picture of that. It's beautiful flower, very beautiful flower. But be careful of those things that are beautiful, right? Because <laughs> they will fuck up your life. <laughs> so, uh, Dr. Sabi was the first person that actually introduced the duck flower detox to the mainstream. Um, he started training a lot of people at Usha Village, in case you guys um, are aware or familiar with Dr. Sabi. If you're not, he is an amazing, amazing, great man to follow on your health journey, especially if you're engaging in an alkaline lifestyle. So the duck flower is used for eliminating toxins and mucus from the body. And in terms of it promotes liver health, um, blood have healthy blood sugar levels. Um, it also promotes a healthy di digestive system. The flower, has one of the highest levels of iron in it amongst so many other flowers. Me personally, that's something that I definitely need because I am anemic. Our bodies, we ingest toxins and these toxins are liquid soluble. Once we get those toxins in our bodies, it could cause like major harm to our central nervous system. So this detox, what it does is it converts those toxins into lip, lipid soluble toxins and they move themselves away from each of the cells in your body and they go into like the kidney and the bile. And then we rejecting that through either vomiting, sweating, or taking really gross poops. When I tell you this is the most intense detox I have ever done in my entire life and I will never do this again, ever. Yeah, I'll never do it again. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. So, first of all, the way I prepared, all right? You can find this duck flower online. I got mine through a um, vendor on Etsy. I paid about $12.95 for the actual flower. Once it came in, I had to kind of, you know, get myself motivated to do this so today i had i can't even open this great value taco blend of all things well i'm about to eat this so this is what i'm eating so today i did have a really big salad and i had a veggie burger and some fries earlier all right so yesterday i had a lot of spinach artichoke dip i mean mm. it's a lot greasy i mean did you poop since then yeah, oh, of course so I have. Probably got that much left of artichoke in you. I don't know. We're going to find out. So the duck flower plant is supposed to be like one of the most intense detoxes. And a lot of people <laughs> have documented this. And it looks pretty intense and 
pretty detrimental. But you know what? Bring it on, because why? Because I'm a G. We're going to see how it go. <laughs> but tonight, I'm eating these damn fries. <laughs> I made up my mind I was going to do it and I just kind of got scared. So I postponed on it for like two days and I just didn't, I didn't do it. <laughs> and so um, one day I just woke up and I said, you know what? I have all day. I have nothing to do. This is the day I'm going to do it. But I did drink the day before. That was probably a bad idea. Um, I had a few glasses of wine. The day that I did my detox, I did not eat that entire morning. So I was going nearly on almost what 12 hours of no food a little bit over 12 hours of fasting um to prepare myself i cleaned my space i cleaned all of my room all of my space my bathroom everything i just cleaned all of my space put all of my clothes away I took a shower cleaned my body and i did all of this while i was soaking my duck flower Because when, when you get the duck flower, depending on who you order yours from, most of the time it's going to come dried. It's going to come dehydrated. So you're going to have to soak it. Some people soak theirs for 15 minutes and some people soak theirs for an hour. But the instructions on my package said to soak it for an hour. So I soaked the flower for an hour and a half in alkaline water. I also soaked it in a glass bowl. Uh, water has consciousness and you can actually put intention into your water so while i was soaking it i also played like positive affirmations and and i played it like on repeat into the glass bowl so whatever the consciousness was in that water that i was going to be drinking down after i soaked that flower i wanted that to go into my body i wanted to go into my spirit for me this is like not just a physical thing but it's also a spiritual thing it's an emotional thing it's it's uh, all around for me so this is the day that I finally got up enough guts to do the duck flower detox so this duck flower has been soaked for an hour now about an hour and a half and uh, the consistency oh it's kind of thick oh it's a little thick I'll eat the flour and then I'll drink down the water. I'm supposed to stay hydrated as much as possible, so I do have like liquid IV because I don't have any coconut water. So liquid IV has electrolytes in it, which I'll probably need. But and I tried to stay hydrated. I just didn't have like I didn't have I wasn't in a mood to drink anything. I would sip on like you know my electro electrolyte um, water and it felt like it was too sweet for me. Um, regular water like I just didn't have. I didn't have an appetite for anything. But I haven't eaten anything today. It is approximately 11.25 and I'm about to do it. This this is it. Y'all pray for me, I'm scared. Oh, the flowers look yuck. So I'm just gonna like take a bite of it first and then see what it tastes like. It doesn't smell like anything. Mmm, mmm. It's not very good. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's funny. very crunchy. Mm -hmm. And it actually tastes like a paper bag, maybe? Mm. Well, it's not pretty Ooh. either. Yeah, this is like eating a, ba a paper bag. No okay. lie. Do you drink the tea too? Yeah. Wow, I'm gonna be fucked up. <laughs> Listen to me, when I tell you, you are going to see me in my completely, completely raw state, okay? You're not gonna see this. You're gonna see everything, okay? All right, well, I'm gonna work on this. I'll be here for you, baby. Yeah, I got I got an in-house nurse. <laughs> I got a plenty of uh plenty of anti-diarrhea medicine back there waiting on you. That's right. It's like no matter how much you chew, it just won't dissolve in your mouth. That's a bad sign. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, this is thick. The actual tea of it is actually pretty good. The what? The tea of it is good. God. That's my last piece. Now I just have to drink it. It's like, oh, God. Like you truly have to um brace yourself to swallow <laughs> yeah. yes you gotta brace yourself Woo! Kind of get hung in the back of your ah! bottoms up <laughs> <laughs> two and a half hours came and everything changed <laughs> and i like the thing was i i really could eat right now but no So it's been over two hours <laughs> since I took that um, duck plant, duck flower. I'm starting to feel a little queasy. I got super, super, super sleepy and I took a nap. And now I woke up and I'm hot and I'm just feeling really queasy now. My, mar my mouth starts to water and it's like that water the watery feeling you get before you feel like you need to throw up i don't like this i want to eat i'm really starting to second guess this When I tell you it is a purge, like right now, all of my, like my ribs, my back, like my neck, my chest, I'm sore because it's a different type of vomiting. It is not, this is not a hangover vomit. This is not a stomach flu vomit. This is not a, I ate too much. This is complete. I'm talking about like your core, like your whole, your stomach, your Everything that's on the, your, whatever your spirit man, wherever he lies in, it's like he's on the inside of you tearing everything up. It just, uh, it's like, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, take a look. So, the first part was liquid, like the water I have been drinking, and parts of the plant. Everything else after that was just straight white mucus. It was just white mucus. I puked for like all day okay if I had to count how many times I threw up probably eight to ten times 
No, God, dude. <clears throat> this detox is kicking my ass. <clears throat> Straight up. Oh, fuck. I threw up like three times already. I got no poop action. My whole first day, no poop action at all. Didn't have to go to the bathroom, didn't poop, didn't have gas, and none of that. But day two. Straight liquid, okay? Straight, day one, day two, straight liquid. If you decide to do this, kudos to you. I feel stronger. I will say this, I have not craved alcohol at all since I finished. I haven't craved alcohol. I've been to the gas station, I don't know how many times not been tempted at all to get any alcoholic beverage and for me that's a win <laughs> not saying that i'm never gonna drink alcohol again but to start off on a new and a new page and a new chapter that is a win for me i'm thankful that i went through this because just like you know doing a 18 21 day water fast that's hard you know but there's always that sense of accomplishment and the fact that you were able to overcome some part of yourself that doesn't have a discipline. Um, to do a, you know, saltwater flush. That's hard, you know? And then to accomplish that and say, well, you know, I accomplished that. But to do this, this is stupid. I would not recommend this to anybody. I'm just saying. I am very, very, very thankful that I survived. I'm happy to share my experience with you. I've always been very transparent, you know, and that hasn't changed, but I'm just letting you know right now, this was not easy and hands down, I guess I ain't doing this shit no more ever again. Peace.